Hi everyone! So today Anlin and me will do a presentation on how insulin gene expression is regulated by DNA methylation. We will go through an original scientific paper that examined the role of DNA methylation in the regulation of mass and human insulin gene expression. A DNA strand is said to be methylated when a methyl group is added to a cytosine base. Methylation is catalyzed by an enzyme known as DNA methyl transferase. Methylation is most of the time a reversible re reaction. DNA methylation is used to silence transcription of gene as the presence of the methylated cytosine along the DNA strand is interpreted by the cell as a signal that the DNA which is modified in this way should not be transcribed. Any genes that are targeted in this way will essentially become switched off. In the first part of the experiment, we examine the DNA methylation pattern of the insulin gene in human and mass beta and non-beta cells. In part A, we looked at the ENS2 promoter in the mouse and found three CPG denucleotide related to transcription at three different sites. One at minus 414, one at minus 182, and the last one at minus 171. To test if whenever or not those CPG sites are specific methylation pattern in pancreatic beta cells, we compare, the, we compare the methylation patterns with the one of various other tissue and with the NIT1 mouse insulinoma cells. The DNA samples were basically treated and analyzed by methylation specific PCR followed by sequencing. The sequencing data revealed that CPG sites in ENS2 promoter are unimethylated in pancreatic beta cell and insulinoma cell, but mainly methylated in other tissue. In part B, to map the specific methylation pattern of human insulin gene, purified human isle were dissociated and the beta cell fraction was separated from the non-beta cell using Newport Green FACS sorting. We compared the methylation pattern of the human ENS gene promoter in the beta cell fraction with pancreatic tissue left over from the Isle isolation, which is mostly pancreatic cell and contain less than 1% of beta cells. As shown in, show in figure B, the Isle cell fraction, which has insulin producing are mainly unmethylated, but it, but it is fully methylated in the non isle fraction which do, no produ which do not produce insulin. This result demonstrates that the adult human and mass insulin gene promoter exhibit a tissue specific pattern of DNA methylation. Next, we tested whether methylation affects expression from the insulin gene promoter. Diagram A shows the three luciferase reporter plasmids used to test the effect of methylation on insulin promoter activity. A reporter gene construct was made by inserting the human insulin promoter into luciferase expression plasmid. Additionally, two mouse insulin luciferase reporter constructs were made, one using insulin promoter insulin sequence from 480 B to 15 plus BP, containing all cytosine guanine sites, and the other using insulin promoter from minus 1692 plus 15 BP, which does not contain any cytosine guanine site. 
the position of the sites in guanin dinucleot sites are represented with the lollipop markers and the position of the primer for the CIH is painted by narrows. Then each promoter fragment was more methylated or methylated with cytos and guanine dinucleotide methyl transferase prior to insertion. As shown in Figure 2b, methylation of the human insulin promoter suppressed the reported gene expression in the cells about 85%. And similarly, methylation suppressed expression from the mouse insulin, which contained all the three sites in guanine promoter driven lysphorus reporter construction. So, these results indicate that sites in guanine sites and their demethylation status are important for both basal and stimulated insulin gene expression. The insulin molecule is central to metabolic homeostasis and such as insulin activity is regulated at multiple levels. It is regulated at transitional, post-transitional level and translational level. This study have demonstrated that human insulin gene and mouse insulin to gene expression are also controlled epigenetically by methylation of specific sites in guanine dinucleoside site in the promoter region. In non-insulin expression on cells, some or all of these sites are methylated, whereas in insulin expression cells, they are completely demethylated. In general, DNA methylation is a suppressive effect on gene transcription we show that this is also true of the human and mouse insulin promoters, where complete methylation suppressed reported gene expression by like 85% and 79% respectively. However, methylation of the individual sites in the mouse promoter include only one site, the sites in guanine uh, dinucleotide at position like minus 82 which significantly suppress gene expression and only by about 50 percent. In conclusion, the study shows that DNA methylation suppresses insulin gene expression and that the insulin gene promoter is specifically demethylated in insulin producing cells. Methylation recruits um, MCP2 and possibly other DNA binding proteins resulting in decreasing binding of the transcriptional activators. Demethylation of the insulin gene appears to be an important and potentially rare limiting step in the differentiation of insulin producing cells from embryonic stem cells. This shows that methylation dependent suppression of the insulin promoter is not simply additive and other than mechanisms are likely present in the cells that cooperate with DNA methylation to turn off the insulin gene. Thank you.